All right, kids, this short video is going to teach you all the ins and outs of how to use Google Slides, which is like PowerPoint or Keynote, only in Google, which means it's based in your web browser. The first thing you need to do to get started is to log into your Google account, but once you're there, you can go ahead and click on the New button and choose Google Slides. This is going to bring up a rather boring looking window with a white background, black text, and not a whole lot else. So one of the very first things you can do is take a look on the side of your screen and choose a theme. Google prepackages several different themes as part of the Google Slides package, and you can also, in a pinch, create your own. But this tutorial isn't going to teach you how to do that. This tutorial is going to teach you how to start right off with one of the ones that they already have. So I'm going to change the theme to blue because blue makes me happy. And the very first thing that you should think about doing is getting the lay of the land here. If you've used computer programs before, you might notice a familiar looking menu bar up at the top. It's got File, Edit, View, Insert, Slide, Format, Arrange, Tools, Table, and Help, which is always important if you run into a wall that this video doesn't cover. What's great about Google Slides, though, is if you hit the File button, you'll notice there's no Save button. What the heck? Does that mean I can't save my presentation? No, as a matter of fact, Google Slides saves everything in the background constantly, so you will never be able to use the excuse, the computer ate it, or your dog. If your dog ate your Chromebook, you've got a big, bigger problem. The most frequently used commands, however, are available as part of a menu bar. You've got the ability to click on the plus button to add a new slide. Should you want to, you could choose to print by hitting the print button. If you make a mistake, ah, you can click on the undo button and it'll go away. If you decided you hit the undo button and you wanted it back, you can hit the redo button and you can insert an image either by uploading one your own taking a snapshot using your webcam if you wanted a picture of you. If you know the address of a picture on the internet, you can copy it in there. If you've got albums in Google, you can choose one from there. If you have saved any images on your Google Drive, you can insert one that way. Or, in a pinch, you can search using the power of Google right inside Google. Who doesn't love kittens, am I right? You can draw shapes. You can change the color of those shapes. You can change the outline color of those shapes. You can make the borders bigger. You can make dotted borders. You can change the font. You can make the font bigger. You can make the font smaller. You can make it bold italicize it, underline it, change the word color, make it a hyperlink, add a comment. Change the way it aligns on the page, make it part of a numbered box series. All of this it's just a brief introduction to the many things you can do in Google Slides.